and the, the director of public prosecution has also said, let's just make sure we, we do more investigation to, before the matter can be closed. So I am not exonerating anybody. I'm only saying that as far as my personal involvement is concerned, I was not involved. Okay. There are because I was text the PS of medical services. All right. There are a lot of text messages and uh, quite a few people mm -hmm. welcoming your candidacy. They say that uh, it's a breath of fresh air. To, um, politics has been dominated um, by what they're calling the big boys, um, the usual names and suspects. But uh, there's a lot of criticism of your record within the education ministry. I'll read you a couple of texts. Um, a file came to your desk of a girl who died in boarding school last year because of negligence uh, with media pressure you quickly assembled a team to investigate away from media um, the glare of the media the file came to your desk and you resigned before any action was taken do you expect this parent to vote for you as an effective president let me tell you this we have over 7,000 secondary schools in the country and no matter what you can do even if you are an angel PS there is no way you will know what is happening in every school because it's happening every day. All I can say is that the way I found the Ministry of Education and where I left it at, I can hold my head up and say I did my very best. And the best witnesses of this are the principals themselves, the parents who know what was in the ministry before and what is in the ministry today. Yes, I was very sad myself. And, I'm, and I was always sad. That's not the only case. There were so many cases, even some that never came to the public domain, of issues, very, very sad cases. How do you explain the case of a primary school kid who, who, who committed suicide because the they didn't results, do well in yeah. the examination? David, so, you're so a parent. Is, 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 is this plausible? Do you, do you agree with me? Well, the, I think uh, that uh, uh, the... To some extent, yes, but the PS can't pass responsibility like that because the structure of government is such that you have officers up to the primary school. Uh, the headmaster is your officer. So yes. all these things must be addressed yes. up to the top. Uh, so, I mean, addressed. we don't expect you to be an angel who can forecast and see every problem. But, they are but these addressed. things must come to you. Yes. Uh, and you are the ultimate officer who must sort them out. No, actually, it looks like, it works like this. You have the education officers and you have the TC officers. First of all, that demarcation of teachers management and education uh, infrastructure management is right. itself a fundamental er uh, fault in the Kenya education system. And you cannot blame the ministry for that. You must only blame the, those who legislate. Because right now, if there is a problem in a primary school, and if I want to fire the teacher, even as a PS, I have no authority. That has okay. to be done by the Teacher Service Commission. So the best I could do is to tell my D or district education officer to interdict. And there are a lot of interdictions that take place every day. Mm -hmm. And then the process go to, goes to the disciplinary uh, mechanisms of TSC. And, and sometimes they, they find wrong and, and they fire the teachers sometimes okay. and so forth. So it's a very complicated process. And in any case, for a parent who loses a child, it doesn't matter what, whether you discipline or you don't. You've lost a child. It's a very painful okay. experience. All right, Prof, let, let's just uh, you know, take a fresh breath a little and look at the proposed changes to the education system yes. uh, from the 844 to the new system. I can't even tell what it is uh, for uh, six, all three, the three, reading four, I've done. Like yeah, uh, it, it is two, yeah. six, six, yeah. three. Yes, yes, there's been opposition to this system and there's support for it. What is your own take <laughs> and because you've midwifed this process? Yeah. Now, le let me tell you this. Uh, first of all, th this was a report of the task force. It was never, and it is not still, the position of the ministry. We appointed experts. We told them to analyze the issues for affecting education and propose uh, reforms that could be implemented to change or to address some of the problems facing us. And they, in their wisdom, they, they came up with that new proposed system. And I can show you, I can show you the logic. For example, they were saying, you must have compulsory two years of kindergarten and then six years of primary now already right now we have eight years of primary if you would make kindergarten two years compulsory and then you add the six years that's already eight, eight years yeah. all you are doing here is to take advantage of the kids growth when they are young capture them when they are young and this is especially to help the child the girl child because the, the, most of the girls when they start school at the age of uh, seven eight ten by the time they're in class six 
class seven, a lot of them go, you know, in the, what we call early marriages, and especially in many parts of this country. So we say capture the kids when they are young because research shows that their growth or their learning potential is much higher. And, and therefore, if you say you do two years of kindergarten and then eight <coughs> years of, um, of primary, you're actually saying you're going to spend 10 years of one cycle and you will lose far too many kids. Let me give you a, a statistic. In 2004, we had 1.2 million children enrolled in primary school. In 2011, at the end of primary cycle, we had only 700 doing KCP, 500 so there was a were out. Well, what happened? Are they out of the system? Are they still repeating? So we were addressing these, what we call high dropout rates. What can we do to make sure kids don't drop out? Number two, we were addressing the issue of transition so that we don't have over 250,000 kids you know, leaving primary school and going back to the villages that they should go to secondary. And number three, the system was proposing a more diversified um, sort of skill harnessing education, especially as you go up, so that if you are not academic and you're good in sports and you're good in uh, performing arts, good in music, yeah. then we harness that. But that, okay, that has been proposed, they've been opposed on the fact that, think that uh, it's very expensive. No. That's what, that's no. what they're saying. No, no, not at all. Let me, let me okay. tell you this. The reason why everybody is saying that is because the 844, as we have it, is grossly underfunded. If you were to fund the programs of 844 as they should be funded, it would be much more expensive. Okay, let's yeah. uh, g uh, look ahead to uh, a future President Kiapi because there are lots of questions about your vision uh, for the country. Um, there's a question from Harrison uh, on Facebook. Are you a project? If you are not, come out and tell us where you get your campaign money from or who is funding you? Um, number one, I'm not a project. I, I, and I said this when I launched my vision. In fact, I said, if I'm a project, I'm God's project. Because as I said, for me, this is a calling. It's a, it, it's a, it's a vision that I have for the country. I have, a res I have a reason as a citizen. And I have not a reason because I've accumulated billions. And therefore, now I'm ready to run. I have stood as a citizen as I am to say I want to offer myself for service. Where is my campaign money going to come from? I'm probably the least funded so far. I'm basically appealing to a lot of Kenyan citizens. And so far, up to this point, it is 100% funded by fellow citizens. In fact, friends... How much have, do you have in your coffers? Right now? Mm -hmm. Very little, actually. Very little. Very, very little. I mean, uh, uh, it's actually a worrying bit so, right so now. So how are you able to move from point A to point B? Well, as I said, uh, uh, we are at the beginning, we're at zero level, meaning that, you know, a lot of friends have been funding, like, you know, somebody gives me 500,000, somebody gives me 100,000, somebody gives me 50,000, and that's what we are using. So we're actually going to go on a massive uh, fundraising campaign in coming months in order to fund the campaign. But right now, we don't have billions. There are several free. questions about why you should be running for president, given that you've never participated in elective uh, politics. Um, uh, several viewers have texted in asking why you're not going for a senatorial seat or a gubernatorial because, seat. Because in the history of Kenya, there is no value addition whatsoever that you should have gone first to parliament. If there was, then our parliament would be giving us the results we want. And right now, all of us are complaining about how they add salaries to themselves, allowances to themselves. We are it, it, we are a society of contradictions of sorts. On one hand, we say we are not happy with what is going on in Parliament. On the other hand, you are telling us you must, be, you must go to Parliament first so that you become a president. I think I've been prepared through another track, and the track is public service of 20 years as a professor and as a permanent secretary. And permanent secretary is really where the cogs of Parliament, um, of government are moved. I know a lot more about government than even many Okay, ministers. going to the politics, you've been, I mean, since you quit as PS, it's about uh, one month and over. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's precisely three weeks. Okay, three we'll weeks. have to okay. hold that thought yes. and go on break. We will be um, coming uh, back to that. You're watching Cheche live on Citizen TV and Hot 96 FM. Um, our guest this morning is Professor Ole Kiapi, presidential candidate. When we come back, we will discuss uh, uh, his vision, uh, more about his vision for the Kenya he wants. Thank you.